Hey guys, welcome back. I'm gonna do my second video here and explain to you probably the more important side of things. And after this, I'm hoping that you'll be pretty confident to try and go keyboard and less controller. I mapped a couple things because I was shooting the video and somebody called me. So I was like, yeah, let's do this, do this one over. Uh, so you're gonna go into your advanced settings here on the sticks and the, the couple things you're going to change is this zone here this gray spot in the middle is going to be your dead zone so like if you want to you want you don't want to turn that down a little bit because you just the dead zone bet this right here this is your zone zone so like in order to run in a lot of games you have to push the stick all the way forward whereas like pushing it a little bit is going to get you to walk some games you don't want to do this in because you know stealth game or whatever else you want to be running all the time so games where you do this is how you're going to probably want to map this out. I already, like I said, I had already done it um, in advance. So that's your, that's how that works. We're going to come over here to the other one. So this is going to be the same situation. And this is just your, your, your range, like on how much you have to point it in one direction before it really gives you that like forward right or forward left feeling. So this is going to just be preference, I think on here. Because as you can see, this is kind of how I play in everything. And I don't know why. I just kind of like adjusted them as I went. And that's just kind of where I ended up. The one thing that's different about this stick is going to be the response time. I can only play on default or instant. I've tried the other ones. Just it's not good for me. Uh, this is going to make your thing instantly trigger as soon as you, you push your stick one way or the other. And I think default is going to be the best for 90% of players. I think a lot of people or some of the players that are in like kind of my like overly elitist echelon that's trying to like min max everything and go over the top is going to want that instant response time. So that's uh, just kind of like, you have to kind of put a little practice and you'll get used to it. You'll definitely be able to tell where you like it and where you don't depending on what you're doing. So now I macro these or bound these for that matter. Uh, so we have, you know, left click here and then we've got our right click here. I'm also going to use this as my shift overlay button so when I'm in my, like in order to make my shift overlay work, I have to be holding left trigger. Now I do that because I usually turbo most guns in games now. So it will fire as fast as I can. And you know, it's an advantage or a disadvantage, what have you, that's fine. I know for a fact that you could click your mouse click faster than you could pull that trigger back and forth. I mean, it's a fact. And you know, there's, there's a lot of options and you know what just we want it to be that way so first thing is i almost forgot i'm gonna go into our zones here and these zones this this is basically like you pull your trigger half mass it's gonna be you know and then all the way back to give you that like full auto or whatever it is you're looking for well by cranking this down from like this basically now my zones are you know millimeter of an inch i pull that trigger barely pull that trigger i'm already getting full mass it thinks I'm, you know, pulling it all the way back to fully auto or what have you. Oops, I forgot to click the effect key. There we go. So, very important. Uh, I would say some people may not want to put this one as tight, just because this is, you know, your aim or whatever. You can kind of get a little more here. I, I just do the same thing nowadays for virtually every game. I kind of like everything exactly the same. And then unless I'm playing some sort of game that doesn't warrant me pushing things like that I'm going to you can see here that if you label something in your primary overlay which is going oh sorry I always forget so let's write it back here so as you can see this is this is label here right mouse button when I come into my shift overlay you can see that still that right that right mouse button and you can see here it's it's my shift modifier now the reason that works like that is because it virtually inherits because it you know is being used again. Otherwise, when I'm holding left when I'm holding that button there, that left trigger, all my stuff should be exactly the same, but or well, it's not going to it it will be but it won't be in essence. So I actually will end up probably rebinding most of it, but you can see here like I still want to be able to throw a grenade. So you know, I can actually just leave this and hit that hit that unmap button here oh i'm sorry it's not i actually didn't even set it up so this is going to be g and double press is going to be x and x is actually like a swap item or whatever have you so now when i'm in this other tab here 
this is going to be those two buttons. It's, it's going to inherit that. And you'll see here that you have do not inherit, which is going to tell the controller not to do that now. But I, but I want it to do that. So I'm going to come here into my basis, click this. And now this is going to be made, you know. And this is going to be swap. Swap made. All right. So now you can see when I come into my overlay that it's like that. Now if I come up here and hit unmap, now you can see it's gone. So when I'm in this overlay, if I want this to do what my controller will do, now it's it's the same. So I'll set a lot of things up to, to inherit like that because it makes it real easy. Honestly, the main thing I want is my left trigger. When I pull that left trigger and I, then I use my right trigger, that it's going to use my turbo feature. And that's, that's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to come into the shift overlay here and show you what I'm talking about. So basically, if I pull the trigger normally, it's just going to fire normally. Now, when I'm in my shift overlay, which is holding down the left trigger, I'm going to have this turbo feature applied to my, my trigger here. So, you know, I always try and do that now. I understand that you might want to just non ADS and, and have the turbo and it's fine. But if you try and open up something in your inventory and right click on it or whatever, or I'm sorry, not right click, left click on it or something like that, you know, you're going to end up turboing whatever you did in your inventory and like, you just, you don't want to do that. I found this to be the, the best option because like, even if you like do a overlay and bind every single button the same to inherit and you set it up to just your triggers on turbo one of these times you're going to be in that overlay and you're going to trigger turbo something you don't want to and you're going to regret it because it's been there so this is the this seems to be the best option for my turbo some games you know may not it may not matter but you know that's this is what i found to be my best option so i'll probably i'm going to set up some more stuff in that lay but right now i'm going to set you know this is this is my primary situation so I know this game has powers in it, and the keyboard and mouse settings for them by default was off. And then, so like one thing I want to do, this is going to be my use key. You know, I like that. And I want this to be my reload key, because I don't like having different stuff. So now if I want to use something, it's it's going to be interact and if I need to hold the the hold the interact button that's fine too but in order to reload I just double tap now I think a lot of games you know support that feature maybe by default like if you're using an Xbox controller or something but I'm not so I you know like I said I think I think the best way to do it is just unbind everything and then work backwards mind you there's an option here for as far as single press and double press and press and hold goes if you go into the options here, which I will do for you, you can go down to press time here. And this will allow you to change how much you need to press or how long you want to hold it or how many, whatnot to, uh, you know, actually cause that action to happen. And, you know, that's, that's big. So, you know, as obviously you want to try and keep it as short as possible, but, you know, if you, uh, if you need it a little longer, I actually stretch mine a teeny bit for the uh, the double press because I found myself sometimes causing small issue. But I mean, we're talking milliseconds, so you know that was enough to to make it work for me. So I want to try and keep this under ten minutes. So I think I'll stop right here. Hopefully, you guys are a little more confident with your trigger zones and your your stick zones and stuff like that. So I will go uh, in the next video and get some more stuff bound up and get some more. Uh, little complicated stuff and definitely show you guys some macros and how to do stuff like that and um you know hopefully this helped you guys and if it did thank you so much i'm glad to be of service that is one of my big things you know i've been an overly elitist gamer for years and you know what i love noobs man like don't get me wrong i love killing noobs but i love helping noobs and you know how are you going to get anywhere if nobody ever helps you? You know what I'm saying? I mean, even if, you know, I mean, you don't have to ask for help. And if someone wants to help you, you know, you just got to appreciate it, basically. Um, you know, even if you feel like you might not agree at first, maybe just waiting it out and seeing where they end up is the best bet, you know. Um, I learn stuff every day. And I'm sure somebody could teach me something in this program that I don't know how to do. So, you know, that's, that's just how life goes sometimes. All right, guys. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully this helped. And have a good one.